I just downloaded this software, uh, AI Upscaling. Uh, make your video, like turn a 1080p video into a 4K video. Um, this is a this is I'm on free free trial right now, so I'm not paying any money. But uh, if I want to keep using this software after 30 days of activation, I should uh, I need to pay about 199 euros. It's a lot of money. So we'll see how well it works. Let's see how fast it processes a video, and we'll see the end result. And yeah. Let's see if it's uh, worth it. Actually, what I'm actually what I'm uh, really interested in is um, upscaling in terms of frame rate. Like if it can take take a 24 uh, frame per second video and turn it into a 60 60p video, slow motion video, that would be pretty sick. So. Uh, so far the result looks pretty good I can see from the here the detail <clears throat> in this tower here compared to this this one is much sharper this is the upscaled version but from here yeah you can't really see the difference uh, I will show you later well these cars are everywhere there's a what's that emergency what? What is going on? So it takes a lot of time to render the video. Like this is like what 10 or 20 seconds clip and it takes like 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. It, the AI is analyzing frame by frame. It's really slow, but you can see the results really clearly. You can see immediately uh, that the uh, the upscaled version is so much sharper, so much cleaner. It's incredible. The result is really good. Uh, but is it worth it? Is it worth the money? I think if you have the patience, uh, if you can wait, uh, or is it for special uh, purposes that you have old videos so you need to up upscale, then why not do it? I think it's a pretty good deal. I would love to get this service. I would love to purchase this and own this software but uh, we'll see you I have still have to test it we have uh, 30 more days I just got this software so uh, we're gonna continue testing this thing and we'll see if in the end I'll need it or not but so far I'm very happy with the results it looks really sharp uh, the result looks uh, very detailed I like it very much all right so I don't think that there is an option to uh, upscale video in terms of uh, frame rate. It only gives you the option to upscale uh, resolution lines. So uh, maybe I can't really turn a 24p video into 60p. Uh, but what I can do is to shoot uh, slow motion in 1080p and then upscale it into 4k later. And that way I will get 4k uh, 60p with my Sony cameras <laughs> that is an option it's pretty tempting so instead of spending thousands of euros on new cameras like a GH5 or Fuji uh, X-T3 that can shoot 4k 60p now I can just shoot with Sony in 1080p and upscale it into 4K if necessary. I don't have to upscale all the footages. I don't have to upscale every single clip. I just choose the one that is like a landscape shot. But the whole process uh, is going to be a little bit complicated. It's going to make the whole video production uh, slow down. So we'll see if it's worth it or not. Because uh, many times when you shoot 1080p, 60 frames per second it doesn't look that bad especially when you should close up with a lot of bokeh and add a little bit of sharpening it looks pretty good and only when you are shooting a landscape shooting a street shooting a panorama uh, in 1080p that you really see the difference you really see the softness in the video comparing to 4k so uh, we can do upscaling selectively Alright, that's a little update from me. Thanks for watching.
See you next time.